Hey guys, this is Sarang from Skilllink and welcome to a new video. Every time a mechanical component is designed in the industry, the design is optimized until it reaches its maximum efficiency. How does this process happen? Here is an example to help you understand. In this video here, you can see a simulation program using genetic algorithm. The program forms cars using simple polygonal shapes and then runs them over a simulated landscape to see how far the designs are able to travel before they get stuck or topple over. The algorithm is capable of evolving the shapes over generation so that each design is able to travel longer than its previous successor. At least that's the hope. In other words, the program optimizes each design so that it can run longer than the previous model and so it is basically an optimization algorithm. This is a basic outline of what happens in the industry as well. Let us say that you are tasked with creating a new airfoil design. To design an airfoil computationally, you will need various parameters like aspect ratio, thickness ratio, chord length, shape, etc. Once you specify these parameters, you can come up with a design. But the work does not stop there. You will have to run several simulations before you understand which design is going to work. Now this process can be time consuming if you have to do it manually. On the other hand, you can use an optimization algorithm which is going to vary all these inputs systematically and it will give you an optimized design. Now as an optimization engineer, you need to make sure that you provide bounds to this particular system correctly, else you will get answers that are not physical. Another example of optimization is optimizing your entire hybrid electric vehicles. Typically in large companies, they have a full system level simulation of your hybrid electric vehicle. What they do is they provide standard drive cycles as inputs and the objective of the optimization study is to make sure that it optimizes your engine input data your electric motor input data and your battery input data to make sure that the system performs very well in all of these drive cycles to achieve desirable performance and efficiency. This is what you call a system level optimization and it's extremely hard to do. But using software tools, this is completely possible. All right, with that, I would like to conclude this video. If you are interested in learning about optimization, check out our latest courses on that topic. Thank you.